Hi folks, I'm Matt Galt, the Director of Education here at Fort Ligonier, and this is A Minute with Matt. Yes, I'm back, and I know it's been a while, I apologize, but I figured that I would come back because this weekend, it's a big one. And that's because we are going to be commemorating the history that happened here at Fort Ligonier on October 12, 1758, when the French came out of Fort Duquesne to raid this fort and try and slow General Forbes down in his quest to take the Forks of the Ohio. Now, of course, we're not the only place doing things this weekend because there's this little festival going. It's not little, it's massive. There's a very large festival going on called Fort Ligonier Days that you're all probably very familiar with. And if you're not, you should come check it out. But Fort Ligonier Days actually started because of, of commemorating this history. Even if you go back, you can see the timeline behind me. If you go back to 1960, this festival got started when really it was to talk about what had happened all those years ago. Now, of course, celebrating this festival has been a little bit different over the years. If you go back to the 1960s, there was making apple butter. There was having a bison burgers. There was a jug band. Everyone loves a good jug band. All right. But things have changed just a little bit. Uh, but we will still be having historical demonstrations going on at Fort Ligon here. So if you can come down, we're going to be having reenactors on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you can come visit us any of those three days. And we will be having reenactments on Saturday and Sunday. Now, when I say that, you may be very familiar with the reenactment that has happened here in the past. Of course, when it started, they were having it across Route 30 in the big open field. And then at times it was on the side of the hill. And then there were other times it was right inside the fort. But I can tell you, that this year it's going to be a little bit different. So folks, it'll be an interesting perspective for you because it might be something you haven't seen before. Now I will also tell you that with this, there's going to be two distinct viewing areas. Now the reason I'm saying this is because I want you to realize that there's essentially going to be a British perspective and a French and their native allies perspective inside and outside. So you're not going to be able to see everything, which is okay, because honestly, if you were in a fort, there might be the chance that maybe you don't actually see the enemy. Could be possible. So it is going to be two distinctly different areas. But when I say this, that means that we, I would hope, if you can, come here, use your ticket all day. It is good all day. And you can experience some of this history and what happened here on October 12th and how it was so crucial to not only then, as we know the French and Indian War, but getting us to where we're at today. So folks, this weekend, like I said, it's a big one. And I hope that we see all of you there. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Matt! What? Can you not read in the galleries? You're in the way.